go to Wonderland. Wonderland is destroyed! My mind is in bronze! Good evening. If you are a fan of Alice Manus Returns, you guys will recognize this look from the intro of the game. I'm a big Alice Manus Returns nerd, so if you've never played the game and you have no idea what's going on, this is Alice from Alice in Wonderland with her face ripped off. So much joy on this channel. Just fills your heart with warmth. All the products that you say we listed somewhere around the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if this is a little too terrifying for you guys, I also have a storybook Alice, which I will link in one of the corners up here. Which is nice. But we like scary. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, which you very well may be concerned right now, please feel free to leave a comment below. Start off by painting your face bright, ripped off face red. Now during this actual scene in the video game, it's actually like a drawn type style, which is why we're going for a bright red instead of a more realistic, bloody looking gross. Just like in the storybook Alice tutorial, I'm using majority of eyeliner to fill in all the details, and I'm using a reference photo from the video game, which I will put in the description below, because you guys are probably like, I have no idea what's going on, unless you have played the game. While drawing this, I kind of jumped around a lot, but overall, I basically filled in the main facial structure first, and then kind of went in and did some of the shading and detailing amongst the face. I then went ahead and drew in my teeth, as well as a little bit of shading underneath the teeth as well. Now everything in this entire look is based out in red, so any color that you're going to apply over the red is going to obviously mix in to some sort of red. I'm applying a very light layer of tan body paint to the red with intentions that it will make a very light red. I then just continue to add some further detail around the jaw, also using some black eyeshadow. For the creepy eyeballs, I'm first basing them out in yellow body paint and then going around them with some red eyeshadow. Going back to the eyeliner, I'm then just drawing a circle around the eyeballs to outline said eyeballs. To create the pupils, I'm first just using a pencil eyeliner, that way I can kind of get a general idea of where I want to officially place them. And to actually fill them in, I'm going in with some black body paint as well as drawing the little details around the pupils. She just got her face ripped off, she's pretty stressed out. I then went ahead and filled in more detail around the eyes as well as drew in this brain type looking situation she's got going on on her forehead. To be totally honest, I couldn't quite figure out what it was, but if it wasn't a brain, it is now. Fill in any negative space that you still have using black body paint. Continuing to use that black body paint, I then drew hands all over my chest. This is in reference to the scene in the video game where all the hands are coming up and ripping her face off and basically tearing her apart. I'm starting to realize how dark this look actually may be. Once I was done with all the hands, I wanted to match my chest and my neck in that cartoon type looking style of the face. And I did this just by filling in shaded areas and outlining my collarbone as well as the two little things in your neck. And just to make some of the hands pop a little bit, I also added a smidge bit of tan body paint within a couple of them. 